It brings a calming, a sense of calming. The serenity. Take in the salt air. Of Isla Morada in the Florida Keys. It is really beautiful. For Debbie Johnson. Feel the calm of the water. It might as well be forever away from the pain. A lot of these photos are hard to go through. She's boxed up the memories of holidays. Christmas Day. And happy times in South Florida. I was probably six or seven. And this is Karen. Where she grew up. One of our last Christmases that we spent together. We were a typical family. It was my mom and my dad. I had an older brother. I had Karen. What was she like as an older sister? Uh, I wish I could tell you. That's where it's, it gets hard because it's been 39 years. And my memory, it's just, unfortunately, I, I have very little memories of her. And I'm sure I was just the annoying sister. <laughs> I'm sure I was. Everything she did, I had to do. Everything. She did gymnastics, I had to do gymnastics. You worshiped her? I did. I did. Don't all little sisters worship their older sisters? What is the, the bright spot you remember? Just a good day with Karen. We went Easter dress shopping. That that's like probably the last good memory that I that I have was us going shopping. It was the same day Karen died, March twenty fourth, nineteen eighty four. She had to get back by a certain time because she was going to babysit. A man climbing through a window at the Delray Beach house where Karen was watching two sisters killing her. The children untouched. Debbie. And I kept hearing this crying. At home. And that's when my mom saw me. Waking up in the middle of the night to the sounds of sobbing. And that's when she came running to me and grabbed me by my shoulder saying, she's dead, Karen's dead. And I was like, wait, what? What are you even talking about? I didn't understand. You were 10 years old. I was 10. I was fifth grade. I think I had just caught braces that year. Like, I was little. You know, I look at 10 year olds now and I'm just like, oh, you're so lucky you get to be a kid. Because I didn't. I didn't. Everything in my life changed after that. More tragedy followed. Debbie losing her father, Eugene Martin Slattery, in a plane crash five years later on Father's Day. Now buried right next to Karen. Debbie's husband, Brent Johnson, taken after a boating accident on Mother's Day. Right after my husband had passed and we had lost um, Rick next door to cancer, we had three male cardinals and one female that would come and feed off of our bird feeders. And I just felt that that was them coming back to us. As Debbie reflects, there's a cardinal. A momentary sense of peace just before the difficult days ahead. Karen's killer is set to be executed. Is this what the family wants to happen? Yes, without a doubt, without a doubt. He looked into my sister's eyes when she died and I will look into his eyes when he dies. Reporting in the Florida Keys. That's just it. Ashley Glass, WPTV.